This is Kareem. I'm one of the product managers at Amazon QuickSight and I focus on embedding. Today, I want to walk you through a feature we just launched in our embedding API where you can embed a dashboard for anyone to access it and you do not require to provision users that can access the dashboard. So let me walk you through step by step of how to achieve this. Step one, lo you log into your Amazon QuickSight Enterprise Edition you create an analysis, you publish your dashboard, and you don't require to share this dashboard or provision users that can access this dashboard. So to walk you through that, I currently in my account have this particular dashboard and I have not shared this with anyone, as you can see here. And I want to embed this dashboard into my test application and open it for anyone to access it provided they can access my application. So that is my step one. My step two is I have to add my embedding applications domain into Amazon QuickSites domain allow list. In order to do that, you have to log into Amazon QuickSight as an admin. You click on the top right on the user profile and you click on manage QuickSight. Here, you click on domains and embedding and this is where you enter your domain. Please make sure that your domain is an HTTPS and once you click add, mydomain.com gets added to this list. As you can see here, currently I have added the domain of my test application. This is step two. Now, let me walk you through step three. Step three is where you generate a URL for your dashboard that you can embed in your application. For that, we will use the API get dashboard embed URL. And one of the parameters in the API is identity. And we will set the value anonymous for that parameter. Please be aware that this particular URL is a one-time use, so you will have to generate this URL again. And one more call out here is that in order for you to use this functionality, you must have a session capacity pack in your account. I can touch base on this quickly on how to get a session capacity pack. So let's say that you have logged into your QuickSight account as an admin. You again click on your user profile you click on manage QuickSight and then you come to this particular view. Here, you click on your subscriptions. And this is where, if you have not signed up for a session capacity pack, you will see this particular option available. And you have an option to get on a monthly subscription or an annual subscription. And as you can see here, the monthly subscriptions start as low as $250 per month for 500 sessions. And yes, of course, you can go over 500 sessions if you need that. Okay, so now let me walk you through generating an embedding URL using this API with anonymous identity. For that, I have this particular function ready to be executed. Here, I'm calling get dashboard embed URL I am in the region US East one because that's where my account is and my dashboard is. I'm going off of the default namespace and then I'm passing the ID of my dashboard ID. Let me quickly show you how to get this ID. So let's say that you are in your QuickSight account and this is the dashboard that you want to embed. If you look at the dashboard URL, the last part of the URL which starts from here on until here is your dashboard ID. This is what I have taken and I have added it here. Then the next parameter is identity type, which is set to anonymous. And this is my AWS account ID. Once I execute this, I get a one-time use embed URL which is actually open for anyone to be able to access it. So let me take this URL and put it into my sample HTML. Uh, 
okay and then let me start up my test application So now that my test application is up and running, let me access my test application here. Because it is a sample application, it is giving me this warning, but it's okay to ignore it for now. So as you can see that my test application has loaded, it is an actual running website on my Python application. I have embedded this dashboard here and I didn't have to add anyone to be able to view this dashboard. Whoever can access my website or my application can access this dashboard. So with four simple steps, I was able to embed my dashboard for anyone to be able to access. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope you're able to use this for your use cases. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.